And now you've got Chad and Haliga taking on Hayley Alating. I'm picking Hayley Alating in this one here, but I'm not super confident in it because Chad and Haliga, he is a great fighter. He really is. And he does have crazy power in his hands. And I do respect the run that he's been on at one point of his career. He was 2-5. and five. That is 2 wins, 5 losses. And now he's gone on a 10-fight win streak and really turned his career around. And good for him. And he's made it into the UFC. But I, I do refuse to believe that he defeated Moin Gafarov. I mean, he took him he took down Chad Anhaliga five times and just, just looked pretty good in the fight. And I don't understand how Chad won, but it is what it is. And then he thought Jesse Strader was getting out-volumed on the feet, was arguably losing to Jesse Strader before absolutely demolishing him in the third round. So he's got that dog in him, man. Like, he can definitely turn it around if he needs to, but... Losing to Jesse Strader on the feet is not a good sign at all. And you've got Haley Alateng here, who is a pretty good striker. I mean, did just knock out Kevin Kroom in the first round, which I guess is a pretty good win to have on your record. But that was Kevin Kroom, Kroom moving down to 135, although he debuted at 155. <laughs> and the UFC, he's got that draw to do Gustavo Lopez, where I believe it was a bunch of low blows, which ended, which resulted into him losing a point. Got destroyed, absolutely destroyed by Casey Kenny. Defeated Ryan Benoit, or Ryan Benoit, and uh, Danar Bakkeray in his debut. But Hayley Alating, at one point, I believe he was like the third ranked wrestler in China. Third ranked freestyle wrestler in China at one point before he did transition to, into MMA, which is cool. So he does have a wrestling background. You do kind of see it. I mean, in his first two UFC fights, he was looking for takedowns and he was getting them. But in his last three fights, from memory, I don't think this guy's got any any takedowns at all. So it'll be very interesting to see if he looks to do that wrestling. And if he does, Chad and Halaika, I don't know what his belt is in BJJ right now. But I do know going into the Dana White's Contender Series fight, he did have a brown belt in BJJ. So and Halaika does have a little bit of grappling himself if he does need to use it. The pick is Hale Alateng. And the only real reason is I just think he's a little bit better. I mean, Chad and Halaika, all he's really got... Is a lot of power in the hands and a crazy amount of heart and a crazy amount of uh, cardio as well. But I was also going to say durability too. This guy, you can never count out Chad and Haliger. It can be the last minute of a 15 minute fight and he could definitely come back and win. Like as I said, he was getting out volume. He was getting beaten in my opinion by Jesse Strader. And the pick was in that fight Chad and Haliger. And he come back and he just dominated Strader in the third round. So, um, yeah, you never know what's going to happen with Anhaliga. He's a great fighter, but I'm going to have to go with Haley Alating to win this one here. I'm not leading a KO. I don't think that um, many people uh, right now will be able to finish Anhaliga uh, at, at this point right now. But I think that uh, Haley Alating should be able to win a decision. Mix up the striking with the grappling. Loses wrestling and uh, win the fight that way. I do believe that Haley Alating should win this fight.